Hi, this is Daniel at DailyStruggles.org. I wanted to give a very uh, brief tutorial on how you make adjustments in your settings in Compiz Fusion, which is uh, uh, Barrel and Fusion uh, settings combined. But Compiz Fusion, you would just go to the Compiz Config Settings Manager and you can make all of the settings changes right here of course in order to uh, make a change in something uh, well some of the most popular items I'll just discuss those uh, some of the most popular items are the uh, magnifiers and the enhanced des uh, enhanced zoom desktop and the uh, desktop cube animations and 3D windows and cube reflection and def deformation. Um, one of the things that you would want to do on your uh, system if you want it to do a rotate like this would be to uh, do a desktop cube and you just click on it and uh, then you can make a transparent cube and you can adjust all of your settings in this area and this is where you would adjust your settings and once you're finished adjusting any settings then you just click back uh, if I wanted to uh, make my 3D windows so where let's say I'll show you what it actually does so if I open a browser window we'll close some of these other windows so where it doesn't go quite so slow um, <clears throat> and if I roll it into the 3D view uh, you can actually see from the side that it shows the the two windows there so that's exactly what that one that setting itself does um, <clears throat> so that <coughs> excuse me that will be the 3D windows and your 3D windows settings are the window depth and the cube size and the window space so uh, you have you have 3D only on mouse rotate and that's the best way to do it that way you don't accidentally over overdo on your uh, on your video card or on my old computer on my video card um, another thing would be the Cuban deformation it will give you the behaviors of each one of these and if you go through this you can see how much reflection it would have on from the ground and that would be uh, if you're not looking at the the actual cylinder the reflection on the ground and the reflection mode whether it's jumpy or jumpy reflection or distance or above and those are just different views if you ask me um, <coughs> excuse me uh, another thing that I like are the animations uh, the animations are what can really make it look really cool uh, aside from you know just the 3D effect itself uh, the comp is config these are the windows it's windows actions so this window itself it would have uh, now just having the wobbly windows is what this uses but let's say if I minimize this window the minimize animation tab controls the minimization uh, so if I minimize that it would take from what's here so if I minimize it and then I bring it back open then those well the minimization effect will be captured from this setting right here but <coughs> uh, this is would be to open a window close a window minimize a window uh, the shading animation for a window uh, how a window comes back into focus and the effect settings for each of the different uh, effects 
So uh, for all effects you could use one or if you wanted the curve fold to have one specific effect you could change that setting or the dodge setting or any of the others and this list is kind of deep here so that gives you some idea um, <coughs> now how I do it is I like most of the effects uh, so what I what I do on my close animation is I select all of the random effects and if I just selected one it would actually give me a line up here for the one but for the <coughs> for the random effects if let's say if I selected one and then I seen another one that I like so I selected it also then I would uh, come up to the one of the ones that I have the line for and I'll click on edit and then I'll just move that one <coughs> that I wanted to random or to whichever uh, option I wanted for it to use on that particular window now if I wanted uh, all of my random effects to just randomly come through then I would just close, choose random and it would do that uh, if you notice the duration, the duration is the actual effect time. So the higher this duration time is, the longer that that action is doing. So if you do it for your close animation, you move it way up here, you know, to uh, 3047 or something really high, then uh, it'll be that animation will take three seconds to happen. So uh, I could see problems with that happening there. Um, <coughs> and so that that would be the same in any of the tabs here. So if I wanted all of these or just a portion of these and I wanted a random effect from those, let's say if I just wanted the, the sidekick and I wanted the explode uh, animation so I could just check those two boxes and then come up here and uh, edit this and make sure it had the random effect and of course you can uh, type the windows match here or window match here on the uh, on the actual uh, uh, command itself now I won't make any adjustments to this because I like the effect that it has. Um, another thing, uh, the reflection itself, you can change the reflection. And here is the wobbly windows, this effect. Uh, I could give it more of a wobbly window or less of a wobbly window. And if I wanted to make my uh, window snap, all I have to do is hit the shift key, but I don't really use the shift key very often unless I'm using a special function uh, another thing if you're using the water effect uh, one of the settings that you need to pay attention to is of course the uh, rain delay the rain delay is the further to the right you move this uh, rain delay it, this is in milliseconds so 100 millis 160 milliseconds means that it would be a little bit faster than if you moved it over to the right it would be it would be greater and you see how close this is together uh, or how close this is from the left so uh, it's actually easier to make the adjustments in the rain delay on the right hand side and just typing it in um, I've noticed that that's good set of between 150 and 250 and uh, again these were just some very brief settings and some of the most common uh, features of uh, Compiz uh, Fusion uh, let me see if there's anything exactly that I use um, I do use GLab and uh, I do always have the workarounds uh, checked because that gives you a little bit easier of
compatibility. Um, other than that, I, if you have any questions, I'm willing to uh, address a specific option of this, but if I mentioned every specific individual item here, then uh, my video will be way longer than what YouTube would let me load up. So uh, again, this is Daniel from dailystruggles.org. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave them and I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. And uh, you can also go to my website at dailystruggles.org and uh, leave your comments there. Thank you.